Okay, so repeated portal change, um, C and B grade, and intermediate tier. So before we get into that, we uh, I'm hoping that you've had a look at the, the previous video where we looked at percentaging increase and decrease. Now, we need to be pretty sharp at these in order to, to be very effective then at using the repeated proportional change. So just a quick recap then. So to increase a quantity of 420 by 12%, we could find 12% and add this on, but we use the multiplier method. Multiplier method, we had 100% plus the 12% to make 112. Convert to decimal to make 1.12. Remember to convert, we divide by 100. And then, so that's my increase of 12%. We multiply it by the quantity. So 1.12 times 420, 470.4. So that should be just a quick recap for percentage increase. Percentage decrease. If we're decreasing, it's getting smaller. It's getting smaller by 18%. So our first step though is 100%. Subtract our 18% for 82%. Convert the decimal by dividing by 100 for 0.82 multiplied by our quantity is 311.6. Of course I'd use a calculator. Just remember, convert by divided by 100. Right. So, repeated proportional change. There are two different types for each of these. This is increase and decrease, and then there is the second type as well. But let's just have a sneaky peek at this. So if I get a highlighter, I'll have a look at my key piece of information. So after five years, what is the value of £1,000 invested at a rate of 4% per annum? Right, well, with my highlighter, let's look at the most important bit. So I've got five years. That's important. I've got 1,000 is important. Uh, 4% is important, but I've also got some other important words. Invested and per annum. Now, per annum means per year. And invested, that's the clue that tells it's going to be increased. If you put money into the bank with an interest rate of 4%, then they will give you 4% on top of the, whatever you've invested. So, we're going to be increasing 1,000 by 4%, which is multiplied by 1.04. But we've got five years. We could work that out with a value of one year, and then the start of the second year would be this amount, and then increase by 4%, then increase by 4% to it to five years. However, this five now becomes our power. So I've now got 1,000 increased by 4% for five years. And you pop that into a calculator, and it comes up with 1,216.65. Obviously, we're dealing with money, so I need to remember my pound sign. And every number is always rounded to two decimal places. Okay, so this part there, this is our original amount. This then is our percentage and a put increase slash decrease, because it obviously could be decrease as well. And then this five is the amount of repeats. Now this is per year and it's five years. It could be something per month and that gives you three or four months. It could be anything as long as it's the repeats. Most of the time it will be years, but just bear that in mind. 
So that's increase, decrease then. After five years, what is the value of £1,000 depreciating at a rate of 4%? So highlighter again. Right, I've got four years. Now this looks very, very similar to the last question. But that key word, depreciating. If something depreciates, it is lower in value. So that's the key word. So, original amount, 1,000. Depreciating by 4%, so it's percentage decrease. 100 take away 4 is 96. Convert to decimal, 0 0.96. I now need to find my amount of repeats, five years. Pop that into your calculator. I have 815 pounds and 37p. Don't forget the pound sign, just obviously it's money, to two decimal places. So after five years, if it's depreciated at 4% per year, then in five years, it'll be 815 pounds 37p. Okay, so that's one type of repeated proportional change. We're looking for an original amount, percentage increase or decrease, and then the amount of repeat. Sort it. However, WJC likes to flip these on their head a bit, really. And we could have questions that look like this. If I invest £500, at a rate of 2.7% per annum, how many years will it take until I have £600? Right. The part that's different there, this bit here, how many years? Do I have an original amount? Yes, I have £500. I am invested, so it's going to be an increase. 2.7, so 100 add 2.7 is 102.7. Convert to decimal by dividing by 100, so 1.027. Do I know how many years? No, I don't. But I need to make 600. So this number here now needs to be 600. So I'm trying to get as close as I can to 600 there. Okay, now to get to there, I need to try different numbers in here until it makes 600. Now with the calculator, try to the power of 1, try to the power of 2, try to the power of 3, until you get close enough to get to it um, in order to get to 600. Remember, until I have 600, so it's got to be slightly over 600 if it's not spot on. Keep trying different numbers, and what happens? You get to the power of 7, and your final answer then will be £602.51p. So therefore, our answer would be seven years. So it's either going to look like this, where you need to follow this pattern, or if you've got to calculate the number of years, create your formula, and then obviously you've got to trial and improve different numbers for the powers until you get to the number they're looking for in the question. Hope that helps.